Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth. I just wanted to take a minute and check in with you all about our summer program coming up um, and talk to you about the different things that you can do at home or when we do get to get back together to help us out and get prepared because we are officially one month away from kickoff and we're still in quarantine. So I have no idea what summer program is going to look like um, as far as if it's going to be in public or online, but we're going to make the best of it either way. Um, we're going to prepare like it's going to happen like normal. So um, I need your help preparing, uh, decorating, volunteering, getting things ready. So this video is just going to be a quick overview of what you can do to help. And there's a lot that you can actually do at home to help us get ready for when we do get back together. So I'm going to start by introducing you to our program. You should see the logo there. We're going to do Knights of North Castle this year, and I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's a quest for the king's armor. So it's all about the armor of God and the characteristics of that armor. Um, and I think the kids are going to love it. We have Sparky the dragon here. He is going to be our puppet and our kind of our main guy for our... Um, our big group get togethers every week with the kids. So uh, Sparky's excited. I'm excited to have Sparky and um, I hope you guys will join us and volunteer in any way that you can. So how can you help? Um, here are some of the, the things that may just be laying around your house that we need right now. Um, and you can either get those to me, you can leave them at or in Faith Hall. Um, just let me know that you leave them, especially if you don't have a key. If you have to leave them on the porch or something, make sure you shoot me a message or somebody so that we know that they're there and they don't get taken or thrown away or whatever. Because a lot of this might look like trash, but these are the things we need. We need air filters. Yes, air filters. They can even be dirty air filters. I'll clean them up for what I need them for. Um, empty toilet paper rolls. We've all been hoarding toilet paper, so hopefully we have some empty rolls by now. Um, or paper towel rolls. Tin full. We're actually going to need a pretty good bit of tin full. So if you have some like the end of the roll or you just feel led to buy an extra roll next time you go grocery shopping, vinyl tablecloths, blue or white especially. Um, we'll take any color we can get. The blue or white we would love. Cotton filling like uh, like you would stuff a pillow with. Um, maybe you've got a busted pillow laying around your house and you want to throw it away. Give that to us. We'll, we'll take the stuffing. Um, we are going to need a lot and a lot of snow for decorating. Um, if you have decorative trees, evergreen trees, Christmas trees, uh, with or without lights, we'll take those. Preferably no ornaments, um, but we'll take trees. Those can be returned. So if you do donate a tree for us to use and you want it back, Make sure you tag it with your name somewhere and we'll get that back to you. Large cord cardboard boxes. Maybe you, while we've been in quarantine, have bought a dishwasher or a stove or a refrigerator and you have a giant box that you need to get rid of. We need large cardboard boxes for various parts of our setup. Um, and pool noodles. We need pool noodles. Um, they're very cheap. If you happen to go in the Dollar Tree, grab a pool noodle. And I'm going to go to the next slide and show you what we're going to do with some of those things. These are some things you can actually be doing or creating at home if you have these materials. Um, here on the left of my screen, I have a painted air filter. So you can either paint on top of what's there or you can pull out the dirty stuff and put some um, colored paper in or paint or however you want to do that. But that is an air filter. And we're going to use those to make like stained glass windows in our uh, classrooms and in our hallways and even on our main stage area. In the center, you're going to see a piece of armor, a shield. And that that particular picture is simply a, um, that's a cardboard cutout. Um, they used a cereal box, wrapped it in aluminum foil, and then just pasted a cross on it. So if you have an empty cereal box and some aluminum foil, you want to wrap it up, I'll put the logo on it. Um, if you want to decorate it, go ahead. If you don't, you just want to give me a wrapped up piece of cardboard, that's fine too. In the top right, you will see some horses, and those are simply made out of pool noodles. That is a pool noodle with a ribbon. Uh, it's folded over at the top, tied down to make it look like a nose, googly eyes glued on, 
uh, nose nostrils drawn with a Sharpie. Eyes could even be drawn with a Sharpie. Uh, and that honestly looks like a gift bow, like one of those swirly gift bows on the top. Uh, you could use string, you could use whatever. We don't even have to have hair. You can just draw eyeballs in the mouth and tape it together um, with duct tape and it would be silver and that would be fine too. So however, uh, if you want to decorate a horse, these would be great projects to do with your kids if you're at home. And then the kids could really have a part of um, decorating for summer program too, which is not something they always get the chance to do. So that would be cool if you're bored and you wanna do some of those crafts. Another thing you could do that would be super simple for anybody, uh, paper chains. Everybody remembers making these. Um, so they don't have to be any certain length. They don't have to be any certain width or anything. If you are bored and you just wanna take some white or blue paper and make some paper chains, we're gonna use those to decorate various areas. So it can be solid white, it could be solid blue, or this one here is a little mixture of both. Doesn't matter to me, we'll appreciate what we can get. We're gonna to try to decorate the hallway in TLC. We're gonna to try to create a drawbridge in Faith Hall. So um, all of these, as long or as short as you want to make them, we can join them together or we can cut them apart if they're too long. So uh, whatever you're willing and able to do, we would very much appreciate it. Um, also, if you're willing, we will be decorating at some point. I don't know when. Obviously, it has to be safe for us to go back to church. But my ultimate goal is to make the, um, the stage area in Faith Hall look somewhat like this. We do have these murals that you see. Um, the rest of the setup will kind of be up to us. But we do have the murals. We do have the artwork. Um, so we can trace or print or whatever we need. So last year we had about five people that really did a great job of um, helping set that up. So anybody that's willing and able... Um, if you'll just let me know that you are willing to help with decoration, I'll get with you and uh, let you know as soon as I know a date that we can get that done. The goal, if everything is safe and ready, would be a kickoff on the first Wednesday night in June. But obviously that is up to our governor at this point and our bishop and all that. So, uh, but that's my goal. If the goal is doable, that's what we're going to aim for. If not, um, we'll, we'll get kicked off as soon as we can. So other ways that you can help, um, and I'm going to see if I can move my face out of the way here. Other ways that you can help are through uh, volunteering to help with kickoff, teaching. I need teachers. I need lots of teachers. Sparky needs lots of friends. Um, I have several age groups. If you're not comfortable teaching, please know that the lessons are really not that complicated. You have to do zero setup, no setup. All you have to do is show up. I will have everything prepared for you, all of your copies made, and you can literally just look at your lesson and read it word for word and not have to do any prep. You could walk in uh, five minutes before class starts and be able to handle it because I'm going to take care of it for you. So if you are willing, um, we have several age groups and the more teachers we have, the more classes we can have. So I would love to see us be able to have five to six classes this year if we can. Um, but that just depends on the number of volunteers. I know we'll have the number as far as students. So um, aides, I need two adults in every classroom. So if I have six classes, I need 12, uh, six teachers and six aides. So that's 12 adults. Um, and that doesn't include music and art and drama and crafts. So um, also I'm going to need subs because it is summer and we all go on vacation and I will take a week off during summer program. So um, I need folks who are willing to step in for a week or two here and there just to fill in the gaps when others are out of town or sick or whatnot. Um, we need actors and volunteers for actors. The youth does a great job, but sometimes we need adults in those roles too. We need a music person. I really, really desperately need a somebody who's comfortable leading the music and the worship. Um, so if you're interested, my con contact information is on the screen. There is also a link. Don't worry about writing that link down. I'm going to post it on Facebook for you. Go to that link, fill out that form. Um, it'll have a place for your name and phone number and the areas that you're interested in. So think about it, pray about it, and let me know soon because we are four weeks away, hopefully. Thank you. Ready for an adventure?